Ooh. What's up guys? So judging by the title, you probably know what I'm about to start talking about in this video. I've tried to make this video like four or five times, but there was audio issues and then a bunch of the times I didn't get out the right words that I was trying to say and it didn't sound good to me. So I'm gonna try again on this one and if you're watching this, then clearly it, it worked. But real quick, in this video, I'm gonna talk about my personal experiences with my anxiety and depression and I've been dealing with this for only a year and a half now. It's not like a chronic thing that I've had my whole life, uh, just to, I'm just putting that out there. But uh, this is something that is new for me and it's something I've been really struggling with and it's really been affecting me. And I, I'm making this video in hopes that anyone who's going through something similar to me can kind of resonate with my words maybe and take something from it. So the first part, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about, well, a lot of bit about my kind of story and how it's been affecting me in my mental state. And then I'm gonna end it with maybe some things that, uh, uh, things that I tell other people who are going through similar stuff as me. And I'm no doctor, I'm no like specialist where I can give people the answers on how to cure themselves because I'm not cured, but I wanna be here for other people. So I'm gonna just hop right into it. So I've had a great childhood, great upbringing, suburban neighborhood. I love my life, I think it's it's amazing. And I'm super privileged and blessed and spoiled and everything's great. And where things took a turn, it was when I was going into my senior year of college. So Noah and I had been doing this YouTube thing for four years now. It was, well, it was like three, four years. We were doing it for a long time and then senior year came juggling the school and the videos and the, the, and the school and the videos and the projects and brand deals. It was very stressful for those three years. And then senior year came and this was summertime. Everything started when I had my first panic attack right before my senior year. It was summertime and I was out late one night and then I got, you know, I came back, was sleeping and then at 4 a.m. I woke up feeling very tense and on edge like something was gonna happen to me. And I'll, I'll never forget that feeling because I still have, I still get it sometimes, but it was like, I woke up short of breath. I didn't know what, I didn't, I was like, what, did I, did I eat something last night? Am, is this food poisoning? I kept feeling on edge, on edge, like I was gonna have a heart attack or something, or, or my heart was gonna give in, or I was gonna have a spasm or whatever. And I went, took a poop. This is at 4 a.m., mind you. Uh, I went, took a poop, felt a little bit better, and then the weird feeling came back again. And I'm like, I need to go to the emergency room. I'm like, what the heck is gonna, something is happening to me. And then I'm in the Uber on the way to the emergency room, and then all of a sudden my heart feels like it does a triple backflip handspring, and it's like, do, 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 do. Like, I can't even describe how it's beating, but it was beating crazy and fast and fluttering and palpitating. And I stumble into the ER like, is it? someone help me. Long story short, I had a panic attack and that was my first one. And I had had no clue what even that was. Cause you hear people like, I'm having a panic attack right now. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had an actual panic attack and it wouldn't be my last one, but that was a start of me on my little kind of downward spiral. Uh, so yeah, that happened. And then I'm gonna give you guys just kind of a, a quick brief uh, timeline of how I've been feeling. So my whole senior year of college, a lot of stress from the YouTube, a lot of, lot of stress from the schoolwork, stress from peers saying stuff to me, friends coming and going, get my heart broken like 28 times. All those things kind of ate away at me and made my anxiety worse because I did not have depression. I don't, and to be clear, I don't have clinical depression or anything like that. It's just, I have these depressive waves. The whole year, I would have some good weeks, some really bad weeks. And this is how I knew it was a problem. I would be waking up in the morning before class with zero energy, so fatigued where I didn't want to eat anything. I, I didn't even want to look at my phone or do anything, speak to anyone, feeling kind of on edge. Uh, 
And, and I was like, what? Why do I feel like this? Like, I got a long sleep. What's wrong with me? I'd have weeks that went by where I was nauseous for weeks. I would have heart palpitations here and there. I'd have short of breath periods where weeks I'd be short of breath. I could barely go to sleep because I couldn't breathe properly. Went to the doctor, felt nothing's wrong with me, blood work, heart checked out, ultrasound, all that stuff. Nothing's wrong with me at all. So I chalked it up to, oh, well, clearly that's what the, that's what the doctors told me was, well, you seem to be struggling with anxiety. So, you know, I didn't have any sort of, I didn't take any medications or anything. It was just me trying to work through it. I could sit here for an hour and speak about all the different things, this anxiety symptoms I would have. It would be blurred vision. I was spaced out like I like I felt like I was in a sunken place on Get Out. Um, nausea, couldn't sleep, uh, terrible sleeping. Like I, I was waking up all night, couldn't go to sleep. Basically, all those anxiety symptoms, if you you name it, I I pretty much had it for a year. And then here's where things kind of took a more sinister turn was when it was summertime this recent summer before we moved out here to LA and I was feeling very lethargic. I was in another wave of uh, another depressed wave during the summertime where it was affecting my videos because you guys know how much I love making these YouTube videos for you guys and it was starting to get in the way of that where I wasn't happy doing what I was doing. I couldn't find any I didn't want to do anything. I just wanted to lay there all day, every day and do nothing. Summertime came. I'm feeling like I'm in the worst rut ever. My depressive waves are getting longer and more intense and my anxiety symptoms, my shortness of breath are coming back again. And I'm like, I, something's got to change. I got to do something. So I, this doctor prescribed me Lexapro and for those of you who don't know, it's like an antidepressant, anti-anxiety medicine. And I'm not gonna get too into this experience. I can maybe in a different video, but this was honestly so traumatic for me that I don't even, I don't even like talking about it, but I'm gonna tell you guys about it just because I wanna be, I, I wanna be transparent. But I had a very, very bad reaction to this pill, to these pills that they gave me. So many people told me that Lexapro was gonna be a life changer and a game changer. It works so well for them. They've been on it for 10 years, blah, 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 blah. Or they were on it for a year and got off and it was great and they're perfect and healed now. And I was like, shoot, like I got nothing to lose at this point. Like pop that joint open. And I only took three pills. I took it on like a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. First day I took the pill, woke up next day, all eyes, all blurred. I couldn't see anything. And my chest felt like I was skydiving. That's the best way I can describe it. Very scary, very unsettling. Day two, I woke up, felt even worse, even a scarier skydiving, free falling feeling in my chest, vision all whacked out, could not, <laughs> like my eyes were broken. I didn't know what was wrong. Third day, I woke up at 4 a.m. shaking uncontrollably and my face was numb and I couldn't feel my heart beating. I was dry heaving, which is when you throw up, was when you're throwing up, but nothing's coming out. And um, my vision was, I couldn't see anything. I was damn near blind, trying to gasp, gasping for air. I legit thought I was gonna die. And bless my, my mom's heart, she took me to the ER at 3 a.m. And the doctor wasn't even that nice to me when I got in there. She's like, okay, well, don't take it anymore. And I was like, uh, yeah, no shit. But that was scary. So I went off the, I took the, you know, no more pills, obviously for me. Those pills, the effects that those had on my body did not go away for months. Everything else went back to normal for the most part, except for the kind of chest tightness a little bit. It would come and go every like a, you know, a week or so. It, like, it would come back one day or one night, it would come back. But my vision did not get better. Uh, there's a thing about antidepressants where they cause blurred vision. Bro, my shit did not get any better and it was very stressful and it still affects me to this day, but I'm gonna get into it. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to keep this a little shorter. So ever since summertime, this pill incident gave me new problems that I didn't even have before. And I went into the doctor like, bro, this, I had this terrible reaction. And the doctor, this Nigerian guy is like, I, I have never heard that happening to anybody before, blah, blah. Yeah, I, that's crazy, that's a crazy reaction. Bro, what? You're telling me, I'm, and I'm still coming down off these pills when I was talking to him, like, 
I still couldn't sleep and stuff. I'm shaking. I can't fall asleep. And I'm in the doctor's office that day, desperate, trying to get an answer from him. Like, what? What's wrong with me? This pit, these pills, I still can't see. It's day seven now that I'm off these pills, and I still can't see right. Oh, I've never heard of that before. Uh, all my patients said it was mild. They had like dry mouth. Um, I've never heard of that. Uh, bro, excuse me. Can we get some answers? I can't see shit. Nonetheless, came out to LA. My eyes were still bad and I had all these new problems. I tried, I tried acupuncture to try to get myself to calm down. I tried all these different methods, meditating, massages, different therapies, craniosacral therapy. They were moving my head all different ways, uh, in the water, floating like in this little tank. And so I was doing all these different methods, meditating. Like I, I did it all. So here's where I am. There were multiple things in my life, the stress, the poor diet, the lack of sleep, a handful of things that led me to be so stressed and pent up and everything that it created this anxiety and depression problem. That's, that's how my mind started. A lot of people, have traumatic things that happened to them when they were a child or they've had crazy bullying all their middle school, high school, that kind of brings it on. So I can't speak for those people. Uh, everyone gets anxiety and depression through different ways. So I can't speak for their exact struggles or know what everyone else is feeling and going through, but I will say that we're kind of all in this thing together now. So anyone who's feeling kind of like how I've been describing, lethargic, tired, no motivation, no happiness. We're all in the same boat now. So it's a matter of how do we snap out of it. So my current state is there are things that I know in my heart that I need to do to get better. Like uh, I need to start eating better, sleeping better, having more, building more relationships with people. I need to start doing that more. Meditating, I need to keep with it. And that's what I'm going to do. And that's how I, that's where I am right now. I am confident in myself. I'm not going to take the, oh no, I'm a sad boy now. Oh, yeah, I have mental illness. But I'm not going to take that route. I'm not going to sit there and, and let the, the mental, you know, my little chemicals in my brain and stuff play with me like that. I, I see the problem and I see the steps, the clear steps that I can take to get myself a little bit better. And that's what I'm going to do. So. Yeah, the videos are not gonna stop. I'm not gonna stop. I'm not going a thousand miles an hour. I'm taking it slow and and moving at my own pace. But just know that I'm I'm in it to win it, and I'm not gonna let this kind of bring me down. So I'm gonna I'm kind of seeing myself segueing segueing now into telling you guys about how maybe you, if you are going through something, this is the type of stuff that I would want someone to tell me. So I'm gonna tell you guys. And again, if you have no anxiety, no nothing, whatever, you're chilling, that's awesome. And this is this message isn't necessarily for you. But I'm gonna just start saying some stuff that maybe you guys can, uh, I'm gonna start saying some stuff that maybe uh, could help you. Cause I, I found these things to be helpful. Okay, so like I said, this is, it, it's so hard to try to wrap up this whole, my whole journey with dealing with mental health issues. To try to encapsulate that in like a little 20 minute video is very difficult. So I apologize if I've skipped over stuff where I'm, my story's all over the place. Uh, I would be happy to make more uh, videos talking about my experiences and what I do and my different tips and tricks. But I'm just gonna say this part now to kind of wrap it up, try to wrap it up. So. The way I've been feeling, and I, and I go through these periods where it's been oh, a few weeks will be bad, a few, a few days will be bad, and then I'll kind of go up and down and up and down. <sighs> when I took these pills and I had these terrible side effects and now my brain's acting even weirder, and I've all, I'm off these pills now for months and months I've been off, what happens is I get in these little ruts where I wake up in the morning, I don't want to do anything, like I said, no energy no happiness, I don't even want to eat. I just want to lay there and just be sad. That's what true, I, I really genuinely feel like I've felt true depression where, scary enough where I didn't think I was gonna get any better. I was like, oh my God, like, am I trapped like this? Am I stuck like this? Like, is this gonna be, I don't think, 
I don't know if I can get back to my normal self. That's, that's honestly what I was feeling like. And, and it's a scary thing. It's very scary. Um, so the, these moments will happen. And, and here's what I say to myself to help me get through it. There are so many days, if you're someone who battles with anxiety and depression and all these different things, there will be so many days where you'll wake up or midday or whatever, and you feel like this darkness, this cloud over you. What happens is my eyes get very foggy. Like for the past week, my eyes have been all shot and foggy because my back tenses up and then it restricts my blood flow, and all this stuff. There is this dark cloud that looms over you where you feel like you're in a sunken place and you can't, you're like, I can't do it. I can't even, I'm not feeling it. I can't speak to anyone. I just want to be, I just want to lay here and do nothing. I'm here to tell you that that is okay to do. It is okay. Uh, I want you guys, if you're going through something to accept the darkness and, and accept it for what it is. I, I don't want to say the word embrace it like, yeah, we depressed over here, gang. Like you don't necessarily have to treat it like that, but it's don't shy away from it. It's it's normal. It's something that that happens to so many people, myself included. <sighs> don't shy away from, oh, I hate this. Get away. I don't want to feel like that anymore. I don't want to feel it. Let it bring bring it on. Let it let it sit with you. And, and accept it for what it is. And then you make the conscious effort to say, hmm, I'm feeling pretty bad right now. Is there something I could do that might make me feel a little bit better? And, and this is where I'm currently working on. This is what I'm working on right now. Sitting there moping, being all sad. Hey, why, why, don't, I, why don't I go for a little walk around the block and listen to some music? August Alcina just came out with a new song that I really like. It's called, uh, what's it called? This new face ID kind of be lit on the iPhone. Um, this August Alcina song called Today. Love that song. That has nothing to do with the video. Go for a walk maybe. Are you feeling bad? You don't want to, you don't want to eat? Eat something. Go to the, go to the store. Go to, get a little, get a nice little chicken. Go to, go to a restaurant. Uh, watch a movie. Watch Impractical Jokers. I freaking love Impractical Jokers. I would sit there and watch funny shows, funny movies, just to make myself giggle, just to get my, just to crack a little smile on my face. When I felt like nothing was gonna make me happy, nothing was gonna make me smile, I was depressed, I was sad, I put something on, little giggles, and I laughed to it a little bit, and, and it helps. It helps a little bit. The goal here is to have these little wins. When you're in this dark place, and all you want to do is get out, it's it's scary because you're like, you want to get to the happy place. You want to get to the happy place. It does not happen overnight. It's you have to chip away at it. But the more you keep doing it, you're going to end up getting to a place that is amazing. So if you feel like you're in that dark place, that dark cloud, maybe you feel like that now, maybe you feel like that before, maybe you'll feel like that the, it'll, it'll, a day will happen later this month, week, year, where you'll feel like this darkness. Um, know that it's okay and normal to feel like that. And it's, it's so hard when you're going through it because you feel like no one else is going through it. You feel like, well, they're happy, they're happy. No one else is going through my struggles. Like, damn, you feel alone. All I ever wanted was for someone to tell me, was to relate to someone like they're going through it too. That would almost make, my, make me feel a 3,000 times better was just knowing that somebody else was feeling the same exact feelings same, they had the same vision problems I did. They had the same heart palpitations, shortness of breath. They were, they were going through it too. And I, I met a few people who went through the same things I have, and it makes me feel better. It's hard to get out of the rut when you're in one because so many days I was sitting there in my darkness feeling like I can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. And if you've been there, you know what that feels like. Someone telling you, hey, it's in your head, like lighten up, like go and go to the gym, do a meditation, blah, 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 do this, do that, be happy, watch a movie. Like, and you sit there and you're like, yeah. Or, or someone says, it's gonna, it'll get better. Things will get better. And it's like, you want to believe that so bad, but you can't because you cannot see the light at the end of the tunnel. But coming from me, I want you guys to listen to me and know that 
there is a fat ass light at the end of the tunnel and you can't see it now, but it is there. You have to have the willpower and the strength to keep walking one foot in front of the other every day, little wins, one at a time. And there is strength in feeling that, that weakness. You're feeling these, these terrible, and, and this is almost a pep talk, pep talk to myself too. I give this to myself all the time. Going through such difficult, stressful, sad, broken moments, there is strength in that. And, and being able to face that directly, that's powerful. And, and, you're, and, and I know that people who go through this are the strongest people on the freaking planet because Lord have mercy, it is not a fun or easy thing to do. And you've been doing it for a while. I've been doing it for a cool minute now. There's nothing that's gonna stop me. If I've been through this, well, I can keep going. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm, I like to have a fun mentality towards the depression and anxious feelings where it's like, bring it on. All right, I'm feeling like crap today. I'm feeling absolutely terrible. Depression, you're messing with the wrong one today. Anxiety, you came up against the wrong competitor today, bro. I'm about to knock you out. I'm about to RKO this anxiety. That's how I view it. So I'm rambling here, but here's what I want to say. Keep going. One foot in front of the other. We're in this together. I, I know the feelings that you're feeling. I know that I've been struggling and I'm going to every day start, do, start doing things that are going to get me in the right direction. Going to the gym, I've been going a handful of days just getting my body back and I'm gonna hit the gym real hard. I'm gonna start running, going crazy to get my cardiovascular. Um, I've been taking cold showers, that's been helping me. It's really not fun when you're doing it, but you gotta, you know, you. the hard stuff is what you have to do. You have to have the self-discipline, which I'm working on right now. Uh, cold showers, running, exercise, eating better. I'm trying to eat a lot of fish and a lot of protein and chicken and not no fast food. Reading, I, I've started reading. And just talking to people, FaceTiming my friends, sometimes it can feel real lonely and you just want to talk to someone. There's been so many nights I went to sleep feeling so crushed and I was FaceTime someone, they wouldn't answer and, and they would be like, damn, I just, want to, I just want to say something to somebody. I don't even want to talk about my problems. I just want to talk. I just want to say whatever and just shoot the breeze. Sometimes that's all you need. So regardless of what you're going through, just know that you have the strength to get through it. You have so much fight and power inside of you that you don't even know is you're capable of. So, so keep going. Don't, don't stop. Don't give up. And we're, we're in this together. And I really mean that it sounds kind of corny and cliche, but bro, I'm going through it. I'm going through it and I'm, I'm happy that I can be here. No, and I can tell you that the light, that it gets better because I have been getting better. I'm not my best at all, but I'm getting better. And I'm going to keep getting better and I'm not going to give up. So I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for supporting me through this difficult time. And uh, yeah, we're, we're going to get it. I'm, I choose I choose the happiness. I choose to smile and not be in my somber thing. Oh, no. It's easy to, to be the sad guy. It's easy to be like, I can't do it. I feel so bad. I can't do it. That's the easy thing to do. And, and I'm choosing to be stronger than that and to fight through it because that's what's going to get me to the next level. And that's where I'm going to find my happiness is by facing it head on and, and choosing that. Now nah, I'm a badass. Like I got this. So that's all I got to say. I'm, I'm done here. I'm a winner. You guys are winners. Uh, winners never lose and losers never win. That was wrong. Winners never quit and Winners never quit and quitters never win. That's it. Let's keep winning. See y'all in the next video. And, and again, I'm good. I'm good. I appreciate anyone's support, anyone's kind words. I got it. Uh, we're gonna get in this together. We're gonna we're gonna make it. Everyone's gonna be feeling great. It's 2020. We got a New Year's resolutions happening. We gemming. We're eating better. We're not draining our energy. Let's get it. Ah.